Looking to buy a new Toyota Tacoma? Get it in writing. Buyer beware. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. As you can see, I'm not in my normal venue. I'm still away from my trucks. It's driving me nuts. But anyway, while I've been here, I've been doing a little bit of shopping. A little bit of car shopping, actually. Not for this channel, for a different channel, but I thought it was relevant uh, to the Toyota Tacoma, particularly because of the current market situation and all of the markups and adjustments there seem to be out there, particularly on the Toyota Tacoma and apparently on other vehicles as well. So I'm gonna tell you my, my story real quick and you really have to beware if you're looking to buy a new Toyota Tacoma, particularly if you're ordering one. So I was out, I've got this vehicle that I'm looking for. I'm not gonna disclose it just yet. It's gonna be on one of my other channels, let's say. Probably the Rob Motive MT channel. But anyway, I had found something that I wanted and I actually found a dealership that has one in production or slated for production. Doesn't even have a VIN number yet. So I contacted that dealership and this is in Texas and spec'd it all out. Went through all of the options and all that stuff back and forth with the dealership and uh, got it all set. I thought. So we came down to the point where we need to talk about pricing, right? And I had contacted another dealership uh, because, you know, you need to go with more than one so that you can get the best deal. And that dealership had told me there was a two to three month lead time and a $5,000 markup or market adjustment. Well, that kicked that one out right away because I am not paying a market adjustment. So back to the dealership that I'm dealing with, right? We go through all the options. I get it the way that I want it. The car is ready to go. And then we get to the pricing part. And I asked them, I said, well, what is the pricing on the vehicle? I mean, we hadn't even talked about that yet. And he told me that he could not come up with pricing until the vehicle was assigned a VIN number and produced. In other words, assembled, built. So I'm like, you expect me to commit because I had to put down a deposit, 10% would have been about five grand, right? So I had to put down a deposit and I thought, and it's non-refundable. So I thought, you know, there's no way I'm going to commit to a vehicle, commit a deposit of that much money and then have them come back to me once the vehicle is built and it's 10, 15, $20,000, who knows, more than what I was intending to pay. So that's a red flag for me. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. How can you tell me that you don't have a price on a vehicle, right? Not a good thing. So then I thought, you know, this dealership had never mentioned anything to me about markups or anything. So I assumed, never do that, that there wasn't one because it was never mentioned. That should have been brought up right off the bat, right? I mean, if you're gonna charge me a market adjustment, a little greedy profit addition, then you probably ought to tell me about it from the beginning and, you know, waste our time. So I asked, I said, okay, is there a market adjustment, an adder to the price of the car? And they respond, yes, there is, $2,000. Now that's better than the 5,000 on the other one, but $2,000, that's just for the privilege of buying that vehicle. No way, I am not paying a markup. So I got back to the guy and I said, you know, given the adder and the fact that you can't tell me what pricing is gonna be, I'm out. So I was thinking about the Toyota Tacoma and the same kind of scenario, right? I mean, there's two ways to get a Toyota Tacoma right now, unless you get lucky. One, you can find one on the lot. That's the lucky scenario. Two, you can take one that has already been assigned to the dealership. It's already been allocated. So you can buy one out of allocation. If you're not familiar with that, that's one that's already slated for the dealership, probably somewhere in production, might even be on the way to the dealership, or you can build one. Now, here's where the buyer beware, make sure you get it in writing part comes in. 
you need to discuss this up front, particularly if you're going to put down a non-refundable deposit. Make sure that you get it in writing that there is no or is an adder so that you know what's going on. I mean, I can just see this happening and I'm sure it's happened. It would have happened to me had I not brought it up on this car that I'm looking at. But you go ahead, commit your money, in my case, again, a non-refundable $5,000 deposit. The car comes in and then you see this little caveat, a little line that says market adjustment, X. Well, you have a choice to make at that point. You've already committed, in my case, five grand, which you're gonna lose. And now you're gonna pay an extra two, three, four, five, ten, who knows, thousand dollars in the form of a market adjustment. I'm still in a little bit of disbelief that one, they couldn't tell me the pricing, and two, they'd ever mentioned anything about this market adjustment. You know, it seems to me that you really need to be on your game when you're doing this. And it can happen even if you've taken one out of allocation, right? I mean, if you don't discuss that, you put a deposit down and the truck is being built, you think you're safe. You think you're gonna get the price that they'll probably give you. I have noticed with Toyota anyway, that when you build something or take something out of allocation, you can get a firm price. I've done it twice. When I built my 2020 Tacoma, which by the way, was before all of this craziness has started. It was just before. Um, there were no market allocations, no adders, and the pricing was exactly what it was supposed to be when we spec the whole truck out. Now, I also took one out of allocation and it was the same thing. They were able to give me the price. The dealership, which I bought from, which by the way, was Burt Ogden in, uh, in Harlingen, Texas, did not have any kind of an adder at least on that truck at the time that I bought. I don't know what they're doing now. I know they do add things to some of their cars. I had gone and looked at the new Tundra and there was a $10,000 market adjustment on that truck. Needless to say, I ran the other way. I didn't really dig the truck anyway, so it wasn't really an issue for me. But again, make sure that you ask and you get it in writing because you might get a surprise. Not a big deal if the dealership will refund your deposit. You know, I mentioned uh, Bird Ogden, they do a, a refundable deposit. So for me, it wouldn't have been really an issue. I could have just walked away and said, give me my money back. One other thing I wanna mention with these deposits, somebody I think had bought something from a vendor and they said that they couldn't get the part, it was months out, they weren't able to give them a firm delivery date, they'd given them their credit card, been charged for it, paid for it already. In case you're not aware, if you use a credit card, you can go back to the credit card company and get your money back. In other words, they will reverse the charges and refund what you've paid. So you're not completely out if it's something that you didn't agree to. You couldn't do that on a non-refundable, because you agreed to a non-refundable deposit. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about that for a minute. If you're buying a new Toyota Tacoma, make sure you get everything in writing before you do it. Don't fall prey to added fees that you may not been, have been aware of. Buyer beware. Leave a comment, let me know if this has happened to you. Did you sign up for a new Tacoma? Then it came in and the dealership tried to add an aftermarket adder to it. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you haven't, check them out. I have two other channels, Rob Motive MT, all about mini or compact trucks, currently the Hyundai Santa Cruz, and Rob Motive JT, all about Jeep Gladiators. Right now, the Jeep Gladiator Mojave. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching. Stay aware out there. Bye.